It's 16 past 10. I'm hoping to have the homebrew bubble behind me to prove a point that this thing's been bubbling for well into the sec. This is the third week now. The thing is, it's only bubbling ever so slightly and it probably might be a longer than a four minute gap between the bubble, which might make me look like a liar. It's almost ready to, oh, it's almost ready to be bottled. Look at the mess on the side here. <laughs> yeah, but have you, have you ever had a Pilsner? That's a Pilsner. Have you, has anyone who's done homebrew ever had a Pilsner that's lasted that long fermenting? That's the longest I've ever seen a ferment go for, for, for certain. The other thing that happened uh, just the other day, um, my mother has a new vehicle and I suggested that I think it's very important for a uh, new car and particularly one that's going to be driven by an older person. My mother's not an old woman, but she's definitely an older person. Let's put it that way. I think that's very important that she has a dash cam. And so we did some research and um, got one and I installed it. And I'm going to do a little video about how the install happened as well. But the very first thing that the dash cam recorded was my mother having somewhat of a little accident in her new vehicle. Nothing major, but still, let's skip forward to when this actually happens. She's parking in this car park. Check this out. I don't know what's I don't know what's funnier about that the the little bump or the oh shit afterwards let's have a look again I love it oh shit <laughs> so yeah, this, the, the best thing about this is there was no damage. She had the front of the, the fender, the front fender. It didn't actually hit an, into something. It's kind of scraped across the top of it. Very, very lucky. The, the size of that curb must have just been right on the size of the fender from the wheel, uh, from the height of the road. So she kind of just scraped it. So there's absolutely no visible damage. But I think this, this is a very good illustration of why it's important to have a dash cam. This actually shows the speed she was doing. She was doing four, five Ks uh, into that car space, which, you know what, it's probably a little bit too quick. And especially with a new vehicle and the warning signals, she hasn't really, I guess she hasn't really learned how the warning signals operate, like when that starts beeping quicker. So good, good learning curve and also, um, I think that if my mum's going to be driving from here up to Sydney and back, it's really important to have a dash cam because it's not so much what you do in the car as to what other people do around you, which is really, really scary. If you get some nutter that, you know, even